hungry. You? Uh, it's uh, 1.30 local time. I got up at 5 and started driving at 5.30 uh, Pacific time. And I had one coffee, one protein bar, and those are useless. They just go right through you. Uh, it costs a lot of money. One bottle of water. And then I stopped in uh, Wales, Nevada, and I had uh, another coffee, two apples, and a piece of cheese. And that's it. Uh, that's all, I, all, I, all I've had so far. Well, I've been driving for an hour. It's time to check my uh, load. And I'm running on, <laughs> on some weird highway here. Look at what my GPS shows. You know, when you have those... Uh, See how many uh, bands are there? That's not a good sign. I have a trailer, right? So of course I have to make sure that the tires on my trailer do not hit all these rocks. So I have to stay to the left a little bit. All right, see? Basically, my uh, I just look at my uh, rear tires. They were just running on the on the white line. See the white line at the on the right? I see that the sign says uh, 25 miles per hour, next seven miles. So I figure, hey, I'm not, I'm not in a rush to get to the cemetery, you know. So I'm gonna drive slow, and I have my uh, four-way flashes on, and I'm ready to react immediately if there's someone coming from the opposite direction, but. The river on the left. I guess that's why this uh, road uh, twists and turns so much because of the river. Like you have river on the one side, and you have these big rocks on the other side. So you know, the, for the road, there's nowhere to go. Of course, unless they were willing to do a lot of blasting. I'm gonna just honk my horn just to be on the safe side. driving in India somewhere or Ukraine. Can this be Ukraine? No, I don't think so. I think it's still Nevada. Wow. This is probably the worst road I ever drove on in the past, I don't know, three years for sure. How are you guys like this? No other way, you know, unless I wanted to go back to uh, 293, the way I came, but that's like 50 miles back, you know, because that stupid uh, interstate, interstate 84, it uh, runs parallel to uh, I-80, where I loaded, right, so you have to cut across somehow from 80 to 84, otherwise there's too many many miles. Of course when you drive at 25 miles per hour it doesn't help much uh, in terms of fuel economy. Jake 
music sign. Then you're gonna. You see how ties on the right? You see uh, marks of ties on the on the soft shoulder. So that's never a good sign. That means that people were avoiding sound from the other direction, and that's what I find. You know, really helps when you're a truck driver. You you watch you watch the ground. Uh, you know, for marks of tires, like big trucks. All right, I think I, it's still like five miles. I think now it's gonna be a couple uh, really bad turns. Anyway, I'm gonna pause recording. Maybe I'll keep shooting. Yeah, I'll keep shooting and. Uh, you can always cut and paste, right? Yeah, by the way, I checked my uh, straps and chains. Uh, one strap was loose on that uh, round tank because it moved. And of course, it, because of that, it became uh, loose because the tank is round, right? And also, I, I, got, I took my tarp and I put it on top of that skid in the front because those straps were loose too so now at least the, the top is... Uh, uh, I didn't top it, I just, you know, I just put the whole top uh, in one piece kind of like bulk oh, four miles to go, good I put it on top of that skid and then I ran straps over it so at least now I know that that plastic is not gonna, is not gonna get unwrapped from the wind because underneath there, there's like four or five separate pieces, you know, they can start flying off the, off the truck. Of course, people here, you know, they, they drive like, I don't know, what, 50 miles per hour? Fuck it, you know, I'm not gonna... Yeah, now they're gonna be a very bad turn. I'm looking at my... Look at this.
shower, get a decent meal, uh, regroup, uh, make a video out of all the clips I shot so far and upload it to uh, my YouTube channel and hopefully you'll get, you guys uh, will enjoy watching it as much as I enjoyed uh, making it. So my trip to British Columbia will continue tomorrow.